Hi everybody, my name is Lori and welcome to The Icing Artist. So this week we're going to be doing a Jurassic World cake, but I'm also going to show you guys how to transfer this logo onto the cake. So first I've taken my image and I've just flipped it so that way the text is reversed and I've printed that out. Now I've got some cellophane wrap here and I'm just going to place that on top of my piece of paper and set that aside for now. Now I have an 8 inch round cake. I'm just going to divide that into two. Remove the top half and then fill the middle with buttercream icing. Now I'm just going to put some icing on my cake using my bag. And I'm going to leave the cake at this point and just set that aside. Now I'm using a number one tip and some gray buttercream icing and I'm just going to outline everything that's on my piece of paper. So you're really looking to outline all of these different little parts here going around the dinosaur, going around the logo, making sure you get as much detail as you can. So that way when it transfers onto your cake, you have all the details there for you. I'm just gonna fill in the center of each letter. Now I'm gonna proceed to finish icing my cake. Now I've done it in this step because when you transfer your logo onto your cake, you wanna make sure that your cake is still moist and that your icing is still moist. You wanna work fairly quickly during this so that way you get a nice and clean transfer, otherwise it's gonna crust. I'm just gonna use a piece of paper towel here just to smooth ice my cake. I'm just rubbing that over the top of the cake and over the sides of the cake and peeling off and that's going to give me a nice and smooth finish. Now as soon as I'm done that, I want to go and get my transfer. Carefully pick it up. And then flip it over and place that right on top of my cake. Trying to make, her, to make sure it's as center as possible. Now I'm just going to use my hand and make sure it's nice and firmly rubbed onto the top of my cake. So that way when I peel the piece of cellophane off, it's going to leave the icing. And as you can see, since I flipped my logo when I printed it out, it's now facing the right way, so it says Jurassic World instead of, I guess, the backwards version of that. And I'm just going to use a piece of paper towel and just smooth that out again. And just smooth out the sides. Now I've got an airbrush machine, so I'm just gonna use some black food coloring and airbrush a background. If you don't have an airbrush machine, you can always just ice your cake in a gray or kind of a darker color or however you wanna do your background. I want mine to look kind of misty, not fully black, so I'm just kind of splotching it on here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna add some more airbrush later. So I'm just gonna do the top of the cake as well as the side of the cake. Now for the fun part. I'm using some light sky blue icing and a number three tip. And I'm just gonna start filling in the blue for my logo. So when I'm doing a logo like this, I'm definitely looking at the actual logo on my computer or a printout so I can see right where the colors need to be and the, where the lines are. So behind the dinosaur, I'm going to fill that all in with blue and just outlining that and then kind of filling it in like this, similar to flood work. And then I'm just going to use my piece of paper towel and pat that again until it's nice and smooth. Now I'm going to proceed doing the exact same thing with my gray icing. So I'm just outlining all of the letters from what I transferred. Now, when you're doing a transfer like this, you want to make sure that you're staying within those transfer lines. So it's almost like paint by numbers or coloring. You know, you want to stay within all of those lines because otherwise if you go outside of them, you're not going to be able to see the image clearly. It doesn't quite look the same, especially with a logo. So now that I've outlined it, I'm going to do the same thing and just carefully fill it all in. 
Again, use my piece of paper towel. I'm just gonna rub that down until it's nice and smooth. And now using a number one tip, I'm just gonna give him his nice, sharp, jagged dinosaur teeth. And using my airbrush, I'm just gonna really darken up that blue, give it a little bit more depth, and darken up this layer of gray. Because the logo actually had two different layers of gray on it, so I'm just trying to give my logo a little bit more depth, a little bit more details, and kind of layer it up. So once I'm done that, I can fill in the rest of my gray. So these little trees that are along the bottom. And then using a number five tip, I'm just gonna outline my whole logo. So the only colors of icing that I used today were white, blue, and gray. If you guys would like any of my recipes, I do have them available on my website, so you can click here and you can print any of them out from there. And if you guys really like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or check out some more of my videos on my channel. And I'm just gonna pipe on all of my letters and then I'm just gonna continue airbrushing the background just to make it a little darker. Carefully going around my logo so I don't hit it too much with the black. And now that my logo is all complete and perfect, I'm going to scratch it up with some big claw marks going through it. So I'm just using a toothpick and I'm really just dragging it right through the icing to look like a dinosaur has come and scratched his claws all the way through it. And now I'm just using some red airbrush and I'm just gonna fill that in a little bit. I really love the effect that this airbrush machine actually gives. If you guys are interested in the airbrush that I'm using today, I will leave a link to it in my description box below. I had a lot of fun with this video. I really like doing the big scratch marks going through the logo and I hope you guys really enjoyed the kind of image transfer technique. Now this video was a special request by Roxanne Collins. I hope you really enjoyed it, Roxanne. And if you guys would have any requests that you guys would like me to do, don't forget to leave them in the comment section below or subscribe to my channel if you guys aren't currently subscribed. And if you guys have time, I'd really appreciate you sharing the video because it helps it get it kind of out there in the world. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you guys have a wonderful week.